Adobe Photoshop Software Package 2 Adobe Photoshop is the world standard image editing solution for print, photo design and production. It is commonly used to manipulate digital images from a camera or scanner and also create digital artwork using its tools. Adobe Photoshop Tutorial 1 In this tutorial you will learn how to use the Clone Stamp tool, the Magic Wand tool and add texts and images. Go to the portal, click on Curricula, find TAS, then scroll down and look for Year 7 resources. Double click on TAS, double click on Technology, double click on Photoshop resources. Double click on Rubber Duck, right click on the Rubber Duck, save picture as, and make sure you save it into an appropriate place. I've created a folder in Tech Smorgasbord and I'm just going to save Rubber Duck. Click on the um, back arrow at the top left corner, it should take you back to where you were before, and this time we want beach scene, so double click on the beach scene file, right click again, save picture as, and this one's beach scene saved in the same place as the rubber duck. Once you've done that, open Photoshop. Go to the file menu and open the rubber duck file that you've just saved. Go to the Layers palette over here and if Layers is not showing, click on Window at the top and just make sure Layers is ticked here, but you should have Layers here. I'm just going to drag mine up a bit higher. I need to double click on this layer to unlock it. Click OK. You can call it Background or you can call it Dark. I'm going to call mine Dark. Click OK. You should notice the padlock has disappeared now. In the Tool palette on the left, Select the magic wand tool, so it's the fourth tool down, click and hold and you'll find there's a tool called the magic wand, it's also got a keyboard shortcut of W. Click anywhere with the magic wand tool in the white background and the magic tool selects pixels that are all the same colour in the area that you've clicked. Um, so in this case it's selected the white background. I'm going to push delete on my keyboard and I should get a background that looks a bit checkerboarded like this. That just means it's transparent. And um, we need to do this to make sure that we can add this picture to our beach scene without importing the white background. 